Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Specialty Series exclusive Funko Pop of Poison Ivy from Batman and Robin. Well, she seems wobbly. She looks like she, even though she stands good, could really use the help of a figure stand. So let's just put that on. I like this pop. I understand that Batman and Robin is not considered a good film, but I enjoy watching it. And having this pop on the tabletop, I think it's a blast. The sculpt on her body is pretty good uh, for this version that they've gone with. Uh, one of her two more iconic outfits with the, uh, the kind of leafy edged boots the leafy edged gloves, the, the, the leafs right on the, uh, the center of the belt there, and uh, the different uses of green are really well applied. I like the red on her fingers, I like the pose she's in. Good job. Also, good job they captured that, I don't want to call it iconic hair, but uh, th this, this wig that she wears is definitely uh, one of the more recognized styles from the movie. Uh, let me put it that way. And they've done a great job with the sculpt of this. Her head looks great. The leaves around her eyes look great. Same thing with the shading around there and the partially painted eyeballs, the black paint, which gives you the kind of lower, lowered eyelids. I like the attitude of this pop. Uh, I also really like her, her first costume she wears with the, like the, like the bodice, like that one piece swimsuit made of leaves. Um, I think that's a really classic look. I would have maybe preferred that one over this one, but I still really dig this compared to some of her later costumes. What a fun character and performance to sort of have captured in pop form. Is it the most accurate version of Poison Ivy from the comics? No, but Uma Thurman is vamping it up like crazy, and I dig it, man. I think it's a hoot. Having this pop is also a hoot. Thanks for watching, everybody, and if you want, you could follow me on social media. Here are the links right now. <laughs>